what is going on miners and welcome back to the hobbyist miner channel so this is going to be a short one i promise uh, but i am finding that there is a boatload of new people coming over to the mining community who have started in the last six months and you guys got a ton of questions that i had six months ago and I'd love to answer one that I think is super common. I get them in my comments a ton and I want to help you understand. So uh, the, the question is, is, and, I, and I'm trying to say this in the, in, the, in, the, in the most respectable way possible. The question is, how come I haven't gotten paid for mining? When do I get paid for mining? I'm not getting paid out for mining. And this is a very simple thing to answer. So let's talk about it. So uh, I am very transparent with my farm, very transparent with uh, how much I make per month, per year. Uh, if you guys have seen my past few videos, we had a crypto mining update for May of 2021. I'll put a link in the upper right-hand corner if you guys are interested in checking it out. Uh, and we go over all those details. I got nothing to hide. I'm a new miner just like you guys. I'm not you know, sitting here with a boatload of cards. I mean, we got 18 cards. We're not, we're not going crazy here. This is a fun hobby. So let's go ahead and discuss this. So um, here's my farm. If I go into uh, my flight sheets, I am running uh, Hivon for Ethereum and I am on two miner for Ravencoin. So let's talk about two miner first. So the way that you guys determine uh, how much you are mining and when you get paid is by going to the mining pool site. So here's an example. Twominers.com is where I'm mining Ravencoin at. So let's go over to two miners. And when you get over here, you need to come up here at the top and paste in your wallet address for Ravencoin. If you're mining Ravencoin, if you're mining Ethereum, you put your Ethereum address in there. If you're mining ETC, you put your you know Ethereum Classic address in here and then you hit search. So now what this does is this kind of gives an overall report for you. So you can see here, my balance right now, unconfirmed balance is 14. And it even gives you a look, these little informational bubbles uh, available to you. Your unpaid balance is four, okay? So my total balance is almost 8,000. In the last 24 hours, we've mined 180. It shows the current hash rate versus my average hash rate, which, which is great. This is a great area to check it out. Um, and then it also shows over here some more details. Your reward if the pool finds a block, you know, and how that works out. So information to check out in, in here is with your unpaid balance. It shows you here, right? Look at this. It has a little bar. When the bar gets to the end, you get paid. So... You're not paid every time you mine one Raven coin. And the reason that is, is because there are fees associated with these transactions and a pool can't afford to pay you every time you make one of something. Now, keep in mind, something like Ethereum is going to, the difficulty is going, and the amount of hash rate necessary to mine one Ethereum is going to take significantly longer than something like Raven coin, which is much easier to mine. So if you come over the little uh, information bubble here, payouts are processed automatically every two hours if the minimum amount of 10 Ravencoin has been reached. Now, keep this in mind. The same idea and philosophy around payouts exist across the board on all cryptocurrencies. So as I talked about, Ethereum is crazy difficult right now and takes a lot of hash rate to really make anything. So if you have 13060 and you're mining Ethereum, it is going to take you forever to get paid out because it is going to have a requirement of X, whatever it is on the pool, in order that you have to get to before they even pay you. So depending on the cards, guys, it could be weeks or months before you even get anything dropping in your wallet. So as you can see here, payouts are processed automatically every two hours if the minimum amount of 10 Raven coin has been reached. Okay, makes sense. So if we go ahead and load up Exodus wallet here. Good luck cracking this password, boys. And we come in to our Raven coin. We have almost 8,000 Raven coin right now. 
Look, every two hours or less, I am paid out. You see the amount right around that 10 mark. So it, it, it's not like anyone's trying to cheat you. You have to reach 10 Raven coin or whatever the payout is for that pool in order to be paid every two hours. So if you, if you reach 10 Raven coin and it takes you a week, then you're only going to get paid once a week. So keep that in mind. Now, when we look on the flip side and we go back, let's take a look here. Ethereum, we're on Hivon. So if you come in to um, any of this here with Hive OS and we go into one of our rigs here that is mining Ethereum, let's say this one here. Um, let's see, where do we find it at? Okay, so when you come in here and we're looking, let's say we're talking about Ethereum. I, I, I have nothing to hide. I mean, I'm not making much Ethereum at all. But take a look here. I have 0 0.0646 Ethereum pending. And if you come in here and click on that, it's now going to give you some transparency here. So take a look, guys, okay? Expected earnings per day, 0 0.00378. So about $8 a day on Ethereum there. On my week, I'm making 0 0.02644, which is about $56.18. Look at the unpaid here. This is important for all of you guys that are mining Ethereum. Now, you might not be on Hivon, so just like I said, go to the pool's website. But here's a great example, okay? Right here. I am only at 65% to pay out. So my 0 0.0646 is, yes, it's pending Ethereum. It's $137.33, but I'm only at 65% of the payout amount. So I will not be paid until I've hit the 100% mark there. And it even pops up here. You have reached 65% of your payout threshold. Payments are made out daily at 2.33 a.m. GMT for all balances at or above the 0.1. Well, I'm not at 0.1, guys. I'm at 0 0.06, so I have to wait until I hit 0.1. Once I hit 0.1, bada bing, bada boom, we're good to go. Now, this is Ethereum. Ravencoin is significantly different. Same thing with like ETC. Like, you know, if you go over to Ethereum Classic, you can see here for Ethereum Classic, you know, very similar in that regard. I'm at 38%. I got one lonely 3080 mining Ethereum Classic. It's going to take a while to get anything out of that, especially right now in the current market. Um, but uh, that gives you an idea, guys, of like payouts. So if you come over to mining, and you see mining as this, ooh, I'm going to start mining. I have a 3080 that I'm not that I'm using for gaming on my rig. And I'm going to let it mine. And, you know, I'm going to make money every day. And I can cash it out. And then I can go buy XYZ. Sorry, that's not how it works. You will not be able to make any money. It'll take some time to mine enough to the pool. And then guess what? No one told you this. When you want to do some transfers from a pool to, you know, well, once it gets to your wallet, okay. And then from there, you want to get to an exchange to convert from your wallet into, let's say, USD so that you can get it to your bank account. There's fees involved. So you don't want to be like, like, I remember at one point there were people that were literally like trying to cash out every day. You're insane. You're insane. There's a lot of people that do um, convert though every day. We'll convert to Bitcoin or or convert to Ethereum, whatever you want to do. That is an option that is out there that people do do. But you have to be getting paid out. And guess what? You're not going to be getting paid out very often if you have a very small setup. I have a very small setup. I don't expect to get paid out often. I'm okay with that. This is a hobby for me. But I want to make sure that you guys understand this because of the sheer factor. There's so many new people coming into the scene right now. And there's so much, um, you're so young. And I'm not saying by age, just by, by knowledge. Trust me, I, I am just learning what I'm doing, guys. So, so do not feel bad at all. Anyways, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this short video on minor payouts and how they work. And uh, that's not even getting into the nitty gritty. There's so much more detail behind payouts uh, that is so far more advanced, even beyond my, my skill set and knowledge. But if you enjoyed this video, Please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Take care.